Hello everyone, we haven't done anything with React Native in our videos. Today, it is the day. We're going to add a map in our React Native application. Let's take a look. Before we start with the article and the code, I wanted to talk about the approach. The blog uses the web view from React Native. We are going to load an HTML file and load the SDK for web in it and create a map object. And next, if we need to get values or execute functions, uh, we can inject the JavaScript later. And of course, if we need feedback from the code, we can get it from the handler on message, which is defined inside the web view. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do this, but it was the easiest for me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now let's get on with the article. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this tutorial is based on this blog article from the developer portal. I am leaving the link on the description below. So it means that we have to go and install Expo in our simulator in this case, or on our phone directly. Let's go here and maybe we can open it with this link. This is my internal LAN or internet address. It seems to be that I don't have it installed, so you can always go to the PlayStation. In this case, my Android device don't have it installed, so we can download it. Or if you're feeling up to it, you can always use a simulator. Let's see if I can install or run it on the iOS simulator that comes standard in Xcode. Okay, it seems I need to install also Expo in my machine. Be connected. I'm right now in the React Native that dev website to install a React Native application or to setting up my React Native configurations. Once Node is installed and everything is installed, I think I can create a new project. So Expo, Init, another TomTom map project. Simple enough. Oh yeah, I need to actually update my node distribution okay now that it is done let's see if i need to install something else Ah, the React Native Web View. Yeah, I forgot to do that. And I'm doing it inside my project that I just recently created. Let's go inside my project. Has to be, yeah, let's go inside this project, yes. And install React Native Web View. Done. Okay, next steps seems to, in order for the map to be visible in the web view, we need to load an HTML file into this web view, and we're gonna add it as a product resource file. I think it has to be inside a JavaScript file that will export the whole HTML file. And as you can see, it seems to be the standard display a simple map loading the SDK for web. We have a location, we have a centered location, and there is a place to add the API key. Let's open the project in Visual Studio Code quickly. This is the main JavaScript file and the application loader. Let's go to the first there. Okay, I'm going to start changing the title of our application. And going back to the article, I see that it is suggested that we create a new the JavaScript map template file, which is what I'm going to do right now. On the empty file, I'm going to copy the content of this. And of course, I'm going to change my API key that goes in here. Let's uh, change it in the file. Now, following the article, it seems that we also need to update the contents of our application. And I can see that we are adding a button with a text that display the allocation 
that we are allowed to center our map. And of course, we have to initialize the uh, web view. There is a web, web view reference that we are going to load using the map template we just created. I'm not going to copy everything, replacing everything. I'm going to copy only the export function of the app because I'm going to leave the style. I'm assuming because the web view is supposed to be still centered and I want to touch that. Now, off camera, I actually managed to install the iOS simulator instead of having my real device on it. I think it goes faster. And then when I connect using Expo, the application is supposed to launch in the simulator when I click here. It goes to the network. There is the QR code if you need to load it in your device. If you're running Expo in your local network as well, let's run it. And you can see that the map is already loaded. Now, let's see what is this button here. What happens? Nothing happens if you move it, okay. And if you type a location on the text box and we press set center, I'm expecting the map to move and it does move indeed. Yeah, and if you move the map, this value also be updated. So it looks like a very simple sum example in this article. I did not elaborate and make more changes, but maybe we should add or use this text field to have a search perhaps in another video. And if you want to know more or experiment with it, don't forget the source code is in a link in the description down below. And that's it folks. Very simple. I think it took me in total 10 minutes to install all this. So I'm very hopeful that you will be also successful doing that. Don't forget to check the code down in the description. Thank you for watching and happy mapping.